Grinnell is a city in Powershiek County, Iowa, United States. The population was 9,218 at the 2010 census. History Grinnell was founded as a Yankee settlement. That is to say it was founded and originally settled by settlers from New England who were descended from the English Puritans who settled New England in the 1600s. Grinnell was founded in 1854 by Josiah B. Grinnell, a Congregationalist from Vermont. The city was originally slated to be named Stella, but J.B. Grinnell convinced other members of the colony to adopt his own name for the city, citing it as a rare and concise name. Grinnell was incorporated on April 28, 1865, and by 1880 Grinnell had a population of around 2,000. Located at the junction of two railway lines, it became and remains the largest community in Powashiake County. Grinnell was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Grinnell was also a stop along the Pioneer Trail, which spans across five states covering about 1,300 miles. The trail was traveled by an estimated 100,000-plus travelers from 1846 to 1869, including some 70,000 Mormons escaping religious persecution. The Pioneer Company of 1846 to 1847 established the first route from Norvu, Illinois to Salt Lake City, Utah. Today, the Pioneer Trail is still visible through many parts of rural Grinnell. Grinnell is home to Grinnell College, established in 1846. In 1889, Grinnell College and the University of Iowa played each other at Grinnell College in the first football game played west of the Mississippi River. On June 17, 1882, a tornado destroyed most of the college campus and much of the community with a death toll of 68. In 1889 fire destroyed most of the downtown area. Grinnell College is nationally recognized as a leading undergraduate institution. In July 2006, the New York Times included Grinnell in its profile of the 20 colleges and universities of established or rising scholarship, which are fast becoming viable alternatives to Ivy League institutions, and is considered one of the 30 hidden IVs. Grinnell was home to Spalding Manufacturing, H.W. Spalding began making carriages and spring wagons in Grinnell, Iowa in 1876. In 1909 the Spalding Manufacturing Company added automobiles to its production line. At one time, the factory was the largest employer in the county. Automobile production ceased at the Spalding factory in 1916 when it could no longer compete with the cheaper Ford automobile. The Spalding factory site became home to the Spalding Center for Transportation, Iowa Transportation Museum. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 5.64 square miles of which 5.60 square miles is land and 0.04 square miles is water. Climate Grinnell has a humid continental climate with clear seasons, hot, humid summers, and cold, snowy winters. The precipitation averages 36.07 in yearly. Summers are the rainiest times of year, with over two-thirds of the precipitation falling between April and September in an average year. Demographics 2010 Census As of the census of 2010, there were 9,218 people, 3,567 households, and 2,026 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,646.1 inhabitants per square mile. There were 3,844 housing units at an average density of 686.4 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 91.9% white, 2.0% African American, 0.3% Native American, 2.7% Asian, 0.2% Pacific Islander, 0.8% from other races and 2.1% from two or more races, Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.2% of the population. 
there were 3,567 households of which 27.1% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 43.4% were married couples living together, 10.4% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.0% had a male householder with no wife present, and 43.2% were non-families. 36.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 16.4% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.16 and the average family size was 2.82. The median age in the city was 35.6 years. 19% of residents were under the age of 18, 21.4% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 18.4% were from 25 to 44, 21.9% were from 45 to 64, and 19.1% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.3% male and 52.7% female. 2000 census as of the census of 2000, there were 9,105 people, 3,498 households, and 2,067 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,825.7 people per square mile. There were 3,725 housing units at an average density of 746.9 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 94.88% white, 1.04% African American, 0.29% Native American, 2.01% Asian, 0.10% Pacific Islander, 0.37% from other races, and 1.31% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.57% of the population. There were 3,498 households out of which 27.5% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 47.2% were married couples living together, 9.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.9% were non-families. 34.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 16.4% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.23 and the average family size was 2.84. In the city the population was spread out with 20.5% under the age of 18, 19.9% .9 from 18 to 24, 22.2% from 25 to 44, 19.0% from 45 to 64, and 18.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35 years. For every 100 females there were 85.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 80.7 males. The median income for a household in the city was $35,625, and the median income for a family was $48,991. Males had a median income of $33,956 versus $23,864 for females. The per capita income for the city was $17,939. About 8.9% of families and 13.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.1% of those under age 18 and 8.1% of those age 65 or over. Economy Grinnell is the home of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. Other major employers in Grinnell include Gels Wen, Grinnell Regional Medical Center, Brownells, and Grinnell College. Downtown renovations in the spring of 2005, Grinnell embarked upon a renovation project to make its downtown area more inviting for residents and visitors. 
The renovation encompassed new water mains, restoration of two-way traffic flow, brick crosswalks in the middle of each block, and more uniform parking spaces in front of downtown businesses. Additionally, a median strip at each intersection was designed with Grinnell's distinctive dual-box pattern. Infrastructure upgrades and aesthetic renovations were also planned for the southern section of the downtown area, to include Commercial Street. Arts and Culture Arts The Grinnell Area Arts Council began in 1979 and sponsors many of the creative projects in Grinnell, including various community theatre plays the community band and a summer arts camp. Each season, the GAAC offers a variety of different classes including theatre classes, crafts classes, and language classes. GAAC also sponsors various events throughout the year, such as Music in the Park, a free event offered to community members. The Turlark Herbag Pipe Band is also a program of GAAC. The Falconer Gallery at Grinnell College showcases exhibitions of regional, national, and internationally esteemed artists in a 7,400 square feet state-of-the-art museum space situated in the heart of Grinnell College's Buxbaum Center for the Arts. Exhibitions by members of the Grinnell College art faculty can be seen throughout the year, and in May, the annual Student Art Salon features student work. Architecture Grinnell has several notable architectural landmarks. Among them include the Merchants National Bank designed by architect Louis Sullivan in 1914. The bank is one in a series of small banks designed in the Midwest. The Ricker House was designed by Walter Burley Griffin Marion Mahoney Griffin in 1911 and completed in 1912. It was the first of seven houses the Griffins designed for Iowa clients, six of which were built and the other five of which are in Mason City. Ricker House was purchased by Grinnell College in 2000 and is operated as a short-term residence for guests of the college. See also, National Register of Historic Places listings in Powershiek County, Iowa for more listings festivals and events Grinnell Farmers Market features locally grown produce, freshly baked goods, honey, james, plants and flowers, and handmade crafts. The market runs from May 16 through October 26 on Thursday and Saturdays. It is located in Grinnell's Central Park, located at 833 4th Avenue. Grinnell Games is a weekend family sports festival. Community organized events include Imagine Grinnell's Half Marathon and 5K Run, the Twilight Bike Criterium, the Amazing Chase, Twilight Trail Run, and the Warrior Run. Grinnell Games draws visitors from across the state with its family-friendly activities, sidewalk sales, live music, and a beer garden on Saturday night. Media Print The Grinnell Herald Register is a semi-weekly newspaper in Grinnell, Iowa. It was formed February 13, 1936 after the merger of the Grinnell Herald and Grinnell Register. The Herald was founded on August 16, 1871 as a semi-weekly newspaper, and the Register was founded in 1888. The Grinnell Herald, in turn, was originally founded as the Powershiek County Herald on March 18, 1868. For the Powershiek County Chronicle Republican, often referred to as the Powershiek County CR or simply the CR, was created in January 2009 as the result of a merger of two newspapers serving other communities in Powershiek County. The Brooklyn Chronicle and the Montezuma Republican, the Penny Saver, a shopper that had operated in Grinnell, continued, and the new newspaper began incorporating Grinnell News along with its existing coverage of rural Power Sheik County and its communities. Radio FM AM Government and Infrastructure Education The first school in Grinnell was founded in 1855. Public schools within the Grinnell Newburg School District include Fairview Elementary School, Bailey Park Elementary School, Davis School, Grinnell Middle School and Grinnell High School. There is one private school, Central Iowa Christian School, which enrolls about 35 students in kindergarten through 8th grade. 
Grinnell is home to Grinnell College, a private liberal arts college. Iowa Valley Community College also operates a satellite campus on the western edge of Grinnell. Healthcare Grinnell is served by Grinnell Regional Medical Center, an acute care hospital licensed for 81 beds. GRMC was established in 1967 after the merger of two hospitals. Nearly 60 physicians provide care at the medical center. Library In 1901, Joel Stewart funded the construction of the current Stewart Library, which remains in service today as the headquarters for the Grinnell Area Arts Council. Plans for a new library for Grinnell began in 2006 with the passage of a local option sales tax to assist with funding. In addition to the funds raised through the lost tax, the library committed to raising $3.5 million in public funds through the chapter campaign. Groundbreaking took place in the spring of 2008 and the library opened in the fall of 2009, now known as Drake Community Library. Parks and Recreation Grinnell has nine parks that are run by Parks and Recreations, including Arbor Lake, Bailey Park, Central Park, J.C. Park, Lions Park, Merrill Park, Miller Park, Thomasine Park, and Van Horn Park. Ahrens and Paschal Memorial Park is a privately run by the Claude and Dolly Ahrens Foundation. The city also boasts two aquatic centers, the Ahrens Family Center and the Grinnell Mutual Family Aquatic Center. Museums Grinnell Historical Museum was founded as a community collaborative effort through a contest for community development by the Grinnell Herald. Register in 1950. People responded enthusiastically. Donations included a rope bed, a hair wreath, and the twisted bell clapper from the ruins of the first high school, which had burned. The house the museum is currently situated in was generously donated by Ruby Burton. Displays are of interest to visitors of all ages. The kitchen holds an electric refrigerator made by the Grinnell Washing Machine Company, one of the first 50 made in 1932. There is a military exhibit with uniforms from the Civil War to the Vietnam War. The carriage house holds several horse-drawn vehicles built by the Spalding Carriage Factory in Grinnell. Iowa Transportation Museum was built in order to recognize the special people across the transportation industry. The museum received $3.6 million in federal appropriation through the efforts of Senator Chuck Grassley and the Iowa Congressional Delegation. Phase 1 of the construction project was recently completed in April 2012. The former administrative building of the Spalding Manufacturing Company has been restored to its original appearance. Transportation The Grinnell Regional Airport makes private and charter flights out of Grinnell. Local cab companies include the Jewel Cab and People Rides. Notable People See also Grinnell College's notable alumni John O. Bailey, judge and politician who served as the Chief Justice of the Oregon Supreme Court, was born in Grinnell and attended local schools before enrolling at Harvard University. Bruce Braley, member of the U.S. House of Representatives for Iowa's 1st Congressional District, was born in Grinnell. Jeff Criswell, offensive lineman who played 12 seasons in the National Football League, was born in Grinnell. Kirby Criswell, linebacker who played two seasons in the National Football League was born and raised in Grinnell and attended Grinnell High School. Josiah Bushnell Grinnell, city founder and abolitionist to whom Horace Greeley is quoted as having said, Go West, a young man, go West. Danai Gurira, actress, known for her role as Michon in the hit television series The Walking Dead. Hallie Flanagan, federal theatre project head, grew up in Grinnell and also attended Grinnell College. Harry Hopkins, one of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's advisors and New Deal architect lived in Grinnell as a teenager before attending Grinnell College. David R. Nagel, Democratic member of the U.S. House of Representatives from 1987 to 1993, was born in Grinnell. Robert Noyce, inventor and Intel co-founder who grew up in Grinnell and also attended Grinnell College. Bernard E. 
Pedersen, Illinois businessman and legislator, was born in Grinnell. Billy Robinson, pioneer aviator, moved to Grinnell at the age of 12.